Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, it's time to go to the range. Well, we're not literally going to be doing live fire, but rather some good quality dry fire practice. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I think you guys are going to greatly enjoy this. We are going to look at dryfireonline.com. Now at this point, I have my SIG P365 XL, and I would say in the safe configuration with the caveat being, well, I do have a laser cartridge in here, nothing in my magazine, and this is ready to go. I've logged on to dryfireonline.com, which is an online website, and then here I have my cell phone, which is going to act as sort of, I would say like a measuring and receiving device. Now all of this stuff working together to create sort of a virtual dry fire system, and I think you guys are going to like this. I can tell you this is definitely really cool. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Dry Fire Online for providing this product for review. Now the first thing, dryfireonline.com, well it starts with a web-based program. And so here, well you can see I have taken over my kids video game platform in order to provide myself with a, I would say, simulated dry fire firing range. So definitely pretty cool. Here you can see dryfireonline.com literally on the home screen. Now the first thing I did was personally I set myself up a profile. I do intend on using this at length um, and thank you to the people at dryfire.com who did give me full privileges and access to this. So I'm going to continue to use this and test it far beyond this particular video and I will be giving them some critical feedback as we move forward and help them develop this product with things that I can find, ideas that I might have. So this is going to be pretty cool. And then down below, well you can see here, this is an old cell phone that I had just kicking around and thought, well, why consume my cell phone? In fact, this is gonna be about perfect just to leverage this as my sensor. So here you can see, I basically went to the Dry Fire Online app in the, this is actually uh, Android, so I went to the Play Store. Uh, if you have an Apple product, you can go to the Apple Store, download the software, and that is literally what you see as soon as you fire it up. So these two screens are the first screens that you come across. Now, as we get into this, you can see this is asking you your screen diagonal size. Now, I've already been playing around, but I already know this answer here, diagonal. Well, I have myself a 40 inch TV that I will be using. So here, in terms of inches, that is 40. Now the screen distance away, which I think I'm gonna go actually to the camera. I'm not sure exactly what they're going for, but let's start with that. I'm gonna say that's four feet. And you can change it from yards to feet. So here, that's gonna be four feet. And then shooter's eye height. Well, for me, I'm going to do this standing up. So right here, I have myself 67 inches, which if you go here in inches, 67. There you go. So I'm gonna actually save that. I think I say change default. Yep, so that now sets my default values. I already have a password, I already have my email, I already have all my account information, so this is ready to go. And so now that I've changed my default values, getting started, I'm just going to go to Quick Start. And here you can see, it already has all my default values. Next it says, I use the Dry Fire Online camera app with laser training munition to get feedback. So absolutely. And as I mentioned, I am using a laser fire system. Now you can get a number of different systems depending on what you're looking to do. I happen to have the Strikeman system, which is the laser cartridge that I have in here. So this is the Strikeman unit, and that actually gives you a good benefit. So if you pick up the Strikeman unit, you kind of get a couple things that will help you if you do intend on using dry fire online as well. Now my hit marker, for me, I'm gonna do a small circle. Let's see, maybe medium. 
Yeah, medium circle looks good. Now, shift point of impact. If this is not shooting accurately, you can dial in your X and Y to kind of, I would say, like hone it in and calibrate it. I'm not gonna do that yet. We'll see how this goes. Now, you have all these different scenarios that you can run through. And for me, some of these are like speed drills, and that's not gonna be the easiest for me because with a semi-automatic striker-fired weapon, I do need to cycle every single time I shoot, and that's not gonna be the fastest. So picking through this, I don't even honestly know what some of these are. I just need to find something that seems reasonable. So uh, none of this rapid fire stuff's gonna be good. Uh, FBI qualification, hostage taker, uh, car run over. I mean, there is just tons of stuff. Shoot, no shoot. Let's do a three by five index card drill at seven yards. To me, that seems to be about right for something I'm looking to do. So let's see. Start, I think what we do, and I kind of will go through this. I'm going to say start stage, but before that, I have my phone running with the app. I'm going to connect. So first thing it says, it's looking for your connection ID. So as I start my stage on the web app on the computer, it's loading. And here it gives me my connection ID, which is found here in the corner. So once you get that connection ID, you plug it into the app on your phone. So as we look here, connection ID, 579-051-335. Done. Connect. So here you can see connected. Now, for me, um, where I already have an account, I do already have some things set up in here. There is a section you need to go through to establish your account so once I go to start my stage, okay, so here you'll see I picked my 3x5 index card drill. Start stage. Now this is loading. And at this point, I believe this is where I need to auto calibrate. So let's see what happens. You'll notice that I filled the screen in the camera so here on my cell phone i filled the screen hit calibrate and now it's going through that full calibration you can see here it's identified the edges of the screen so that's good i'm going to do a laser calibration here so calibrate the laser you can pick the color my laser is red you can pick green so here you can see green again mine's red so i'm gonna leave that and at this point i'm all logged in so i think this is all set so on the software confirm my gun is unloaded one final calibration and we should be off and running round one oh at least it hit now it does appear to be slightly low until at this point I need to aim high. What I don't like is this is just cruising through these levels. I really don't want a timer. I kind of just want to like figure things out. So there's probably a different game I can play yeah so this is either my gun or the calibration now where I'm using the 365 XL with the red dot at this point it's hard to say what's off is it the red dot is it the calibration on the screen so I'm gonna swap out my 365 XL for my 365 micro compact see if that makes a difference using iron sights so at this point I'm gonna do some calibration I'm going to try to change up my X and Y values here. So if I go back 
and I changed my X and Y offset, it looked like I was off by, I would say, oh, maybe about 1.5 inches in the X direction and maybe 0.25 in the Y, let's just say 0.5 into our stage builder. Audio. Okay, so we're gonna do gunshots and a start beep. And so here, taking a look, you can definitely change everything. Preparation time, three seconds. Target expose time, 10 seconds. All the different settings, everything. You can just totally play with and get this completely dialed in. This is fantastic. So, I mean, this really gives you so many, like infinitely, like little granular details that you can play with all the way to, well, what's the background gonna look like instead of concrete hall? Yellowstone, Monument Valley. I mean, just really, really cool. So with that, you definitely can dial this in, but let's look at one more stage just for this example. We're gonna look at this one here, which is IDPA Hostage Taker. So we are going to try this audio, beep and gunshot start stage. Everything is going to load and calibrate. I confirm that my gun is unloaded. Oop, locked and loaded, ready to go. And we're on. Oop, I missed. Oop, I hit it. I don't know what's going on because this is not picking up my shots all of a sudden. All right, so just recalibrating here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it works this time. And we're on. Yep. There's a little delay, so you need to. Oh, I got him. Two shoulder shots. All right. And. This one's hard. Oh, killed my hostage. The delay in this is tough. Oh, come on. Give me it. All right, one more try. I don't think I headshot. Oh, right in the head. All right, so one more. Oh, shoulder shot. Count it, come on. Another shoulder shot, not bad. I'll take it. So all in all, what do I think of dryfireonline.com? I mean, bottom line is this. The technology is really cool. I mean, conceptually, fantastic. The laser that I have works well. That's not a problem. That's dialed in. Same with my optic. That was not the problem. It's really getting the software calibrated. That's going to take the longest. And I think once you kind of have a setup established that works for you, at that point, you should be in pretty good shape. Now, is this going to work well for me to do some training? I mean, no matter what, yes. It's just is the actual accuracy in the results gonna tell me much? 
hard to say, but if I do get to the point where I'm using good form, I'm practicing good technique, I'm using my sight picture, I have good trigger pull, that's kind of half the battle right there. The results and the diagnostics and all the other things, well, we'll find out. I'll figure that out over time. But for now, having a simulated uh, dry fire system with all these different targets, all these different aspects, the ability to dial it in, I think that's pretty sweet. So not only can you really use one of these dry fire systems at a static target, now you actually are kind of getting some moving targets here, which I think is fantastic. And so again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at dryfireonline.com for providing this product for this review and for giving me the membership so that now I can move forward, I can continue to learn and grow with this, come up with some recommendations. I already have a few things in mind that I know I would do uh, to maybe make some tweaks which we'll see the further I get into this if my thought process holds true. This is so deep and in-depth that you really do need to find some time to go through it and literally play with it. I feel as though I should do this for 30 minutes a day almost to the point where I understand it, I'm confident with it, and I've turned this into my own home simulated trainer. I mean, think about it. That has to improve you when you get to the range. And to not spend 50 cents a pop, well, that's kind of a big deal right now for me where, quite honestly, I am getting started. I'm swimming in this. There are a lot of upfront expenses. And to have something that's reasonably affordable gets you going and you can do it from your own living room area, I think that's pretty sweet. And so now moving forward, continued testing. I will probably do a follow-up on this in the future with some other ideas that I have, and we'll see how things shake out. But for now, it is definitely cool, and I'm looking forward to experimenting with this. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.